Hey, hey, welcome to a quick book briefing. My name is Jocelyn Hubbard. I am the CEO and founder of Custom Teaching Solutions, where we are passionate about helping teachers simply and effectively create culture-centered classrooms so all of their students are affirmed, welcomed, and celebrated through instruction. For that reason, I have created a free resource just for you, the Culture Centered Classroom Success Kit, which you can grab by going to customteachingsolutions.com forward slash success dash kit. Today, I am truly, truly excited to share this book with you, The Proudest Color. This book was written by Dr. Sheila Modir and Jeff Casho. It's illustrated by Monica Mackay. This is hands down one of the best resources to use when talking to your students about the beauty of diversity of color in the world around us. We would never hesitate or, or pause when looking at two different flowers or two different animals that are of different colors, right? A purple flower, a pink flower, and talking about how beautiful both of those flowers are and how beautiful their colors are. But we often pause when we talk about people and their different skin colors. When we see a person with brown skin and a per person with peach skin, we, we pause and we get afraid to talk about the beauty of both of those colors. But this book will really help you to do that. So this young girl, her name is Ahara. She loves all of the colors that she sees in her box of crayons. And she associates those colors with, with feelings. So when she's sad, she feels blue. When she's excited, she feels pink and purple. And when she's proud, she associates that with the color brown because that's what she sees when she looks in the mirror. She is a brown young girl. And so she's, she's proud of, of seeing that color brown. But when she goes to school one day, she sees that she is one of the only brown children in her class. And someone says something to her that's not kind about being brown. And so she starts to, to doubt whether she should be proud of being brown. And, and she wishes that maybe she, she wasn't brown on the outside. But she's, she has a conversation with her, with her mother. And she has a conversation that really helps to uplift and empower her and help her to see that all colors are beautiful. And so she's able to walk back into that classroom with her head held high. This book is one of the most dynamic resources that I've seen to help teachers and parents begin to have conversations about just how beautiful all the colors are in the world around us. Now, I know that you are going to want to add this to your diverse bookshelf. So you can grab this by going to the picture book recommendation link that I have. Please share what it is that you are doing in your classroom, the conversations that you're having with your students, because I would, I would just love to know how amazing those conversations are and how your students are really learning to appreciate the beauty of diversity in the world around us. I'll talk to you next time.